Hi guys and girls. Uh, so I thought I'd do a few videos whilst in isolation, um, just to give people a few things to practice at home or uh, just a few things to watch to sort of give you a little bit better knowledge on your own golf swing. Um, maybe there's a few things in there that you feel like you need to work on. Um, so take a look and enjoy. Okay, so for driver setup, uh, there's a few very important points. Uh, okay, so I'm going to start off with ball position and um, stance. So, or width of stance. Now, we want to try and have the feet, I would say, sort of just outside of shoulder width apart, okay? So either, or, or just in line with the shoulders, but I tend to have mine just slightly outside the, um, uh, the shoulder line. Again, gives you a very good stable base. Don't start going crazy because anything you lose in height, you're going to lose power wise. So I'd say when you start going too far, too, too wide to really feel like you've got a good stable base, you tend to lose more than you gain. So I would say, and also it, help, it doesn't, doesn't help at all with rotation. So keep the feet just about shoulder width apart. Ball position, club right up towards the ball. I would say keep the ball just inside of that left heel. Okay, so you should see there that kind of lines up just around here. Um, so once I'm set up, there's a couple of things that I'm going to be very, very, uh, very conscious of. Now, I'm not going to push my handle too far forward because I want to keep things relative to what I was doing with my irons for grip uh, and also for the release. So something to note. When you're setting up, and if you can do this, it's quite an easy drill to do. Set yourself up with a seven iron, middle of the stance. This time it's just going to be slightly wider because you're preparing for the driver. Okay. Now from there, set up again, get the right feeling. Okay. So everything's in the middle of your stance. And then from there, you're just going to move the driver up towards the ball. Okay, so the ball's at the front of the stance, slightly wider stance, but this helps to keep the grip in the right place. It keeps everything in the, in the same place throughout the clubs. I tend to see that when the ball goes up towards the left heel, um, I tend to see a lot of people then change the grip because the handle moves up a long way with it. Now, really, you want to see the handle in pretty much the same place, at least not far away from it. So we don't really want to be seeing too much of a change. But I do tend to see a lot of people move up, move the handle forward and try and get the shaft dead in line. And we don't really want to see that. We want to see the shaft, if anything, almost sort of be sent back towards us a little bit. So the hands and positioning of your grip are the same. Some players do prefer to have the hands a little bit further forward, but I'd say as long as you're keeping the grip, that's fine. Um, but it is absolutely crucial to try and make sure that you've got everything in the same place as you do for irons. Um, now, on that note, so uh, so grip-wise, I meant for that. Um, if you can imagine, once I'm set up, now my ball positions move further forward. So my spine is actually going to move ever so slightly more this way because my shoulders and hands have now gone more forward. Okay, so if you can imagine, once I'm set up, I'm going to see a little bit more of a tilt in my spine angle because my left side, uh, so because my shoulders have had to tilt back ever so slightly, my weight in my feet and my hips so my weight in my feet is about 55 on the left my hips just shift a little bit but they shift more in and upwards so more this way that's more the feeling that i tend to get and that's why i lot find a lot of uh, golfers prefer rather than sort of like a shift across try and feel it's more of a this way movement kind of keeps everything in place so you've got more still 55 on the left and then as you're 45 on the right, then as you're setting up, you've got a slightly better spine angle. Now with that, make sure that when you are changing that spine angle ever slightly, you don't excessively open the shoulders. They will open a tad, okay? That's because as you go this way, your ribcage will point ever slightly a bit more left. But think as you go back, they will open a tad 
but they're not going this way. And the pelvis is not going this way. So try and keep on top of that. Don't let yourself go too much this way, okay? Don't, uh, sorry, this way. Or seemingly that way. Um, but once you're set up, you should have slightly more spine angle than what you do with irons. Again, because the ball position's moved up further towards the left. The shaft should be just, let's say, sort of in line with the inside of that left um, thigh. Okay. And the grip should be exactly the same as with a seven iron. There shouldn't be any real difference from there. Now, because of all these points, as you take that club away, and there is a slight more Uh, there is a slight more tilt in the spine. That means that the club is going to appear, especially if you video it, is going to appear a little bit more inside and under plane than what you would usually expect to see, like with something like irons. Um, so if I just explain why. Okay. If I tilt, I get my spine in the right place. And then from there, if I tilt, you see what the circle does there so I'm just tilting a tiny bit more to my left and you can see there how then that club is just going to be a, a little bit more underneath plane than what we would typically want to see so a tiny bit so do watch out for that and because of the shaft length we are going to then see that the swing be a lot flatter uh, and we've covered that in plane um, so if you are seeing the club go a little bit more under plane, remember, it should be a tiny bit, it shouldn't be crazy. You're only moving a couple of degrees, or maximum five degrees. Um, so it shouldn't be crazy. So, But when you video it, if it's moving way underneath, then that might be something to note on. But if it's moving a tiny bit, that's fine. And if it looks a lot flatter than usual, again, that should be because of the, the length of the club. Um, but the points that your club moves through your body as we talked about in the plane video, the club go up and it was set roughly just underneath the original shaft angle again, because remember it's just gonna be slightly flatter um, and then it will move up through that right shoulder. It should just cover all those same similar points to what a seven iron does. If it's starting to go really high or really flat and way under, then again, it might be a bit too much. But just try and keep on top of the amounts, but understand that when you tilt your spine ever so slightly, you're going to naturally tilt the entire arc because your entire spine is the big determinant of the angle of that arc and that swing plane. Okay, on a side note to that, um, T height, I would say try and keep the ball when it's on the T somewhere between the top groove when you when you're resting on, when you're resting the club on the ground somewhere between the top groove which for me uh, is what about a centimeter and a half from the top edge okay you do not want to be hitting that guy because it's just gonna go strap your nose and it's just not gonna go anywhere so try and get the feeling you're always hitting around there uh, if your club is on the ground, then when you return the club, remember it shouldn't be in the, on the ground when you return it, hopefully not, it will then just give you that little bit of buffer zone and then you're going to be hitting hopefully somewhere more towards at least that middle portion of the club. Um, when you're teeing it up, something you should be seeing when you've got the club down behind the ball, you should see that roughly half the ball is visible from behind the club um, and uh, so half the ball is visible above the club from behind all right hopefully there's something in there that you can practice at home um, or at least it's just reinforcing what you already know uh, or hopefully you are when you come out of isolation you're able to uh, get working on it at the range um, so thanks for watching and uh, look after yourselves mm -hmm.